Hi, and welcome to Jules Voto's Photo Focus. In July of 2022, Nikon announced a firmware update for the Nikon D7100, a camera that is over nine years old. It was a minor update, and it fixed an issue with Live View, where Live View would stop uh, when using um, Camera Control Pro 2 software. But uh, I figured I would take this opportunity to just show you how to do a software update on a Nikon DSLR. And it's a very similar process for Nikon um, mirrorless cameras. So uh, we're going to update the software on this 7100. The first thing you want to do is to see what firmware version is already installed in the camera. So let's do that. Okay, so let's turn the camera on. All right, and we're going to press the menu button. All right, and you're going to uh, scroll over to the wrench icon. All right, and come over here and go. It's the last item on the setup in the setup menu. All right, so we see firmware version. Okay, we're going to click over to the right and you see that I have 1.03 so there's a 1.04 which I never updated alright so we know that so we're good here okay next thing we're going to do is let's turn off the camera okay now that we know our um, what firmware version we have we're now going to take a SD card and insert it into the first slot on the camera the top slot all right. Now, obviously, if your camera takes CF cards or uh, XQD cards, it's the same process. You insert the card and need to format it in the camera. Format the memory card uh, on Nikon DSLRs. It's a two-button operation. Uh, you press in on the trash button and the meter selection button at the same time. Okay, and you will see for FOR, that means format, you release, press the two buttons again, and it's formatted. Now, you could also do it through the menu system. Okay, so we could come over to menu, and same icon, the wrench icon, just go all the way up to the top. Actually, I think we could do it this way. Yes. Format memory card, slot one. Yes. Okay, so now we have a formatted memory card. Okay, now we're going to go over to the computer and show you how to download uh, the uh, update and put it on the memory card and then we'll come back to the camera with that memory card and install the software. One thing you want to make sure when you're doing this, when you get to the point where you're inserting the memory card back into the camera with the update file install is make sure your battery is fully charged. Usually these updates are very quick, but uh, you want to make sure that you have a full battery. So uh, just in case it goes long, uh, you don't want the battery to die halfway through the update. All right, so let's go to the computer. Now we're over at the computer. Uh, we're going to go to Nikon USA. And I'm just going to type that in here. If you are outside the United States, just go to Nikon's global website and search for your country. All right, so we're going to scroll over to uh, support and come down here to product support. Okay, just scroll up a little bit, scroll down a little bit actually, and um, download manuals and software. Just click on that. Okay, now you will see on the right there are some recent firmware updates and this 7100 update is listed here since it came out uh, July 26th of 2022. Um, but if uh, you have an older camera uh, or you haven't updated your software in a while, uh, this is only going to show the recent update. So you're just going to come over to choose a category and we're going to click on digital SLR, but I just want to show you here if you have a mirrorless camera, you just click on this. All right, so we're going to click on digital SLR and here we can choose our camera. I mean, you could see there are older software updates dating all the way back to the original Nikon um, digital camera, the D1. So uh, we're going to 
scroll down here and find D7100. We click on it and you can see here uh, you can um, download a manual for the camera at no charge. You, you can download a PDF by just clicking here, but we're gonna, we wanna go to firmware. All right, and here we see D7100 firmware version 1.05, which was released 7.26.22. So we're gonna click on view download page. And uh, I'm using a Mac, so Mac OS is uh, highlighted here. Uh, and uh, if you were using Windows, this would be um, so we're just going to scroll down a little bit more and there's some information to read explaining the changes from version 1.04 to 1.05, changes from previous versions, etc. Uh, right here, this gives you uh, information on actually doing what we're doing here, updating the software. So you scroll down a little bit more and there's an end user um, license agreement to read. I usually don't read them. Uh, just click accept and click on download. All right, so uh, the f file that was downloaded goes to your download folder. I'm just gonna click on that. All right, you can see it here. I'm just gonna drag this to the desktop. Okay, now let's close out of this. All right, and uh, here is that folder that we downloaded. I'm just gonna double click that. All right, and you can see the Nikon D7100 update folder. We're gonna double click that. And this is what we want. We want this D7100 105BIN file. BIN file is the update file. So now I'm going to insert a formatted SD card, the card we formatted in the camera. And I'm gonna place that into my card reader and uh, this is going to open that up and I'm going to drag this BIN file to the memory card. Okay, you don't want to put it in this folder, this DCIM folder, just drag it to the card. All right, so now we can close out of all this. We're going to eject this memory card and take it over to the camera and install it. So let's go do that. We are now back over at the camera we made sure our battery is fully charged. You will get an error message if you try to update the firmware and the battery is low, okay? So we make sure the camera is off and you should always insert a memory card with the camera turned off. And we're gonna open up the door here on the right, insert our SD card into the top slot and close that. Okay, and turn the camera on. Okay, we're gonna press our menu button all right, and at the uh, setup menu, go to firmware version, press to the right, okay, and scroll down to, just press down one time to update. Hit OK. All right, and um, we get the message here, update with the question mark, current 1.03, new 1.05, we press up on our button and press OK. All right, and we get the warning message, do not turn camera off. And you can see the progress as it goes through the update. Now on the newer cameras, rather than using the direction pad to uh, make your selections, you can use the um, touch screen. And it looks like it's more than halfway done. Now I speeded this up. I didn't want to have you sit here and watch uh, the update uh, as it progresses. It took about three minutes. And as they say, a watch pot never boils. So if you're uh, sitting around looking at the back of the camera as it updates, uh, just go find something else to do for a few minutes. Maybe edit a picture or two. Okay, it looks like it's almost done. So update is complete. Turn the camera off. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn it back on. Okay, press the menu button. And using the trackpad, press to the right. And we could see 
that we have installed, successfully installed the update. We're now in version 1.05. As you can see, this was pretty easy. We have now updated the firmware on this almost 10 year old camera. And uh, just check Nikon site from time to time uh, to see if there are, are any firmware updates for your camera. You know, sometimes they will uh, just be bug fixes as is the case here. But in many cases, uh, they are giving you some new features for your camera. So uh, check the Nikon website from time to time to see if there is a firmware update for your camera. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful. If you have any questions, you can email me or just leave a comment in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I usually come out with a new video every Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. So I will talk to you next time.